My name is Don Tapscott, and I'm on a council called Informed Societies. And the issue that we're addressing is that because of the new media, the internet, social networking, and so on, and also the end of the industrial age and its media, radio, television, broadcasting, there's a huge change that's taking place in how we inform ourselves as societies. And the old media was one to many, it was one way, it was controllable. And the people out there, the recipients, the readers, the viewers, the listeners, were passive. They were an audience. But the new media, all of that is turned on its head. It's interactive. It's collaborative. It's highly distributed. And it has this awesome neutrality. So how do we stay informed as a society in this kind of world? How do we ensure that there's good journalism, investigative journalism, that journalists get paid? How do we... Uh, prevent a balkanization of society where we're all in these little self-reinforcing echo chambers and all we get is our own point of view and the purpose of information perhaps is to give us comfort rather than to inform us. So what we've ended up doing is creating a memo to the leaders of the world about how to address this problem. And we're arguing that yes, this is a time of great change, of great volatility, even of unrest. But what you need to do is take steps to open up the internet, to open up access to information, to have greater transparency, and to ensure that people can use these tools to collaborate. And that the worst thing you can do is to try and curtail the use of the technology or shut down the internet as some, some uh, leaders have done in some countries. You know what? All of this is good. It's good for citizens to be informed, to participate. It helps in the development of wealth, of health care, better uh, of, of protection of the environment, of creating better education, and the transformation of every in, uh, institution. So if you're a world leader, uh, embrace the new media and help build informed societies and good media citizenship.